What's up with the people, with the people, with the people? Hey, check this out. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can tell the difference between a bluegill and a shellcracker. Now, they both look exactly the same, and a lot of people get confused, and I did. I was confused until I was 42 years old, until somebody that was more experienced than me told me. This here's a bluegill, and this next picture here is a shellcracker. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to look where I'm pointing at with these doggone things, right behind that gill, that bluegill. On the shellcracker, it's orange or yellow, okay? On a bluegill, it's just blue. Ain't nothing but blue. But on the shellcracker, it has that little stripe around it, around the outer edge of the gill, that's uh, orange or yellow, okay? Yeah. And the reason for the shellcracker is they eat snails and, and things like that, different shells and types of crustaceans and stuff that may be in your lake. If you leave your boat in there for a while, you're going to have shells and stuff uh, little uh, snails grow on the bottom of them and they eat that. Shell crackers, they grow a lot bigger than the doggone bluegill. Now let's look back to the bluegill. Okay, now see here, if you look at the bluegill, you'll, you'll notice that the uh, back of that gill uh, is just totally blue or black. It looks black, but whatever. But don't pay no attention to the rest of the fish and the colors because you know females and males and spawning times and eggs and all that changes the color of the fish. But the way to tell a bluegill from a shellcracker is by that stripe on the back of that gill. Not the stripe on their body, but that little yellow stripe on the back of that gill. Now I'm going to put a picture of it blown up for you right here so you can see what it looks like. This is a shellcracker and uh, I'm going to put both of them right up there side by side. All right? This is how you tell. Right here on Lunatic's channel. 